June 13th, 80 degrees. Walking into a deep, a deep piece. I had some nice shooter that was growing in here. Uh, it was like three, three big eight points. I got some cameras out here I haven't checked in a few months. So, gonna check those. Refresh the batteries. I got two cell cams I'm putting out here. So, that way, I don't need to mess the area up. Even though I like to keep freshening the scrapes, the scent lasts for a good amount of time, so it should be good for a couple of weeks. Let's see what goes on. It's warm. Once I get into the shade, these bugs will be all over me. One thing I want to do too is I want to change there's a natural scrape in here I've been watching. It's starting to slowly get dilapidated to treetop that snapped. And then you worked it into a funnel on a main run. So I'm gonna to try to catch them on an intersecting run. I got a stand placement there and uh, make my own mock scrape right on that main run and then where they're crossing it. Always a good location to get multiple deer when you have two runs like that intersecting. I hate messing with natural scrapes. But I do different things to show that it's possible with a good scent. You just put everything together and you're smart about it. Sometimes my even my scent control is not good. I just really have to test the stuff out and kind of abuse it a little bit so you all get the, the good product. All right, about to dip in the woods here, walk across all this thick blueberry stuff. So let's do this, get back to you.